it's fashion week and you know what that means it means that on this channel we get to get together and review all the runway shows that are our absolute favorite and give us the most amazing upcycle inspiration from the runway shows that apply to this season hi i'm angelina and this is blueprint diy where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us Oh, I am super excited. Although, before I get started, I was a tad bit disappointed because there was so much black, gray, and white, just whole shows of black, gray, and white. However, I have combed through the shows to come up with some very special inspiration for you guys, as well as I have a special surprise at the end. I am going to share with you guys my latest collection for Blueprint Signature. It just came out yesterday, which was September 8th, and I am super excited. So definitely, if you are interested, I will have the link in the description box below. Actually, you can shop it right below, but I will put the links to everything I show you in the links below so that you can shop my brand as well and of course i'm gonna keep my favorite two shows to the end and uh yes we're gonna geek out on fashion so yeah let's get started all right first up we're gonna start off with idm and we are gonna get right into this we're starting off with something you guys know I love. I love a dramatic sleeve. It's good to see that they're still on the runway. I'm not seeing them as much, but I am still seeing them. So I just wanted to share that with you. Like I said, there was so much black, like whole shows, like whole series of black. But I thought that these were just really cool. They gave me some good inspiration as far as silhouettes, as far as mixing materials that had different textures. I'm a texture girl. I love, like, I'm just super tactile. So I love stuff like that. But I wanted to show you guys this show because of the boots. I've been seeing a lot of people do this with denim, just taking belts and tying it around their leg. But here you can see that their boots are actually almost like a garter. They're attached someplace at the top. I don't know how, but I thought that that was pretty cool. And then this look, it, it's just, it is me. I can envision myself in this look from head to toe. I love that. Love, love, love that. And then this next look I thought was pretty interesting with the plaid. And um, also another one with the sleeves. I love that bright blue color. Did not see a whole lot of color. So of course I had to share that with you as well as with the sleeves. I do have a tutorial on that triple sleeve right there. I've done it on a men's dress shirt. So if you're interested, I will include that in the description box below. All right, so this next show is Balmain. And I just included this one to show you guys, just give you a hint of what the silhouettes were. There was a lot of very stiff silhouettes, a lot of peplum, very stiff like boxy peplums walking down like that this one isn't as bad the shoulders were super super broad um but i guess that is what is going on right now but i showed you this show specifically for this off the shoulder blazer with the gloves attached and i wanted to know do you guys want to see me attempt to upcycle that to upcycle a blazer and make it look like that again i wanted to show you guys the vibes that was a lot of the shows were kind of this vibe um but i sh wanted to show you this because of the all the head to toe embellishments that was a theme across the board. I saw a lot of head to toe embellishments. And for those of you who are sparkly, uh, who loves to sparkle, you're really going to be excited about what you're going to start seeing coming out in stores, as well as the, the trends. Of course, now I am, I love to trend watch, but you guys know that I never feel like I have to go according to trends, but I love to watch them because it's just interesting to me. It's almost like watching science <laughs> because you can see how one thing leads to another and so we're watching that transformation from one thing to another so the next show is actually Chanel and again I wanted to show you the embellishments look at these uh, jean shorts jorts but they have some embellishments all over them as well as that top right there it has rosettes all over now we've been seeing rosettes on clothing but they're starting to be like all over they're almost like polka dots they're really like polka dots but I looked close I'm like oh those are rosettes and you can see those same sparkles on these super wide leg jeans love the super wide leg jeans um, and so yeah you're going to see that in a lot 
of clothing coming up. So if you have the patience to hand sew, then that's something that you can just sit down and do. If you are an embellishment collector, old buttons, different things like that, sew those onto different garments and you're gonna be right on trend. And I also wanted to show you guys this one with the feathers as the pockets. Um, we've been seeing that a lot, feathers on different things, feathers on the ends, uh, cuffs. Again, you're gonna see it in this Gian Bautista look with the feathers on the pants. So like I said, if you have the patience to hand sew, I've seen people glue feathers. So if you have that patience to do that, then you're gonna be seeing it. It's still on the runway. I saw a ton of it. So go forth and be feathery, I guess. <laughs> All right, next up is Dion Lee. Always, always love their shows. But when you watch the show, I want you to think of thrifted belt. So like thrifted leather belts. All right, you ready? Look at this skirt and tell me you, you don't see thrifted belts. I just love it. Look at this top. Ugh. I think we really need to play that a little bit slower just so you can get the essence of it. And I love the cut of this coat with that popping collar, that high collar, that stand-up collar. It's just so good. Again, you can see it here with the cropped shorts, distressed denim. I saw a lot of super distressed denim. So if you like to distress denim, then yes, this is your season. Again, you can see that same cut in the coat, but in a puffer. Love that. Um, and again, look at this top. Thrifted belts. I'm not saying that's thrifted belts, but that's how I interpret it. And you can see this gold, like in my mind, it is gold flecking. It is just a gold jacket that he has around his waist. But in the next show, you're going to see what that made me think of. I've been seeing people use, uh, what is it, the gold foil, and then you like Mod Podge or iron on, or you do something. And I'm not really interested in it so much for jeans. That's what a lot of people have been doing. But I love this. Get a coat from the thrift store, which at my outlet, they have plenty of them, and add it to just the, the belted part of the coat. In both of these colors, I absolutely love that idea. I think I really do want to try that. I've been wanting to kind of try it. I've seen that tutorial 50 million times, but I didn't want to do it on jeans. Um, but I think I do want to do it on a coat. I wonder how it would stand up. But then also, jeans are something that's washable. Um, so I think it might be a better idea to do it on something that is dry clean only, something that you're not gonna put in the washing machine anyway so yeah let me know if you want to see me tackle something like that all right so next up is Paco Rabanne and I just had to show you guys that you guys know that I love harnesses absolutely love harnesses and this one is the same material as the coat and over the coat I am here for it I love that but the reason I'm showing you this show is because of the cut and the just the skill of these dresses they're just so delicate and so purposeful so careful um, with where the lace is and how it's cut and how it walks and then at the end they show this dress and I am here for it um, that is Beyonce concert every day all day love 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 that and then to see all of this color really made me so excited because there was so much lack of color on the runway in the garment so i just really wanted to see some color and I, you guys know i'm not like big color 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 person but like like it was lacking this next one by undercover is going to be for those of you guys who really like to paint on the back of things and look at this that's exactly what that is. Some people do like a mosh posh though, or they'll take another garment and put it on the back of that garment. Um, but look at that. Like that is like things, fabric that you might cut out on your Cricut. I know my sister did a, a denim bag like that. And it's all across the back of these blazers and down the back of the pants. So if you're into that, that is something you can definitely do. Do it on a whole suit, a blazer and pants, or a blazer and a skirt if you prefer that. And I think that that would be really cool. And <laughs> I had to, had to, had to show you guys the, you know, I guess because the name is Undercover, they're technically very much undercover. <laughs> it's a blanket cape. And I, I, that is like, hands down, 
probably one of the easiest up cycles I could ever think of to do because you just wrap the blanket around, you add a stitch, and now you have a blanket cape. So if you want to be blanket caped up, <laughs> here you go. A very, very easy up cycle to accomplish. But then also after that, more embellishments. I think this is like beaded lizards or some type, oh, and I love those uh, gloves beaded lizards or some type of animal on there and you can see it on the full suit as well as on the coat and even on her pants you can see a hand i think wrapping around the um ankle so i thought that that was really cool I, my patience for hands on is not that great but i really do want to try some of these things so you know you guys will have to go along on the journey with me and we'll see how we all do <laughs> if we're all patient enough to do some hand sewing and that the good thing about that though is that you don't have to have any special tools you don't have to have a sewing machine or anything like that just a needle and thread and then whatever you're going to embellish with so i'm willing to try it if you guys are so let me know all right so this next one is one that i've never reviewed before on my channel i've never even seen this brand but it's called valant i believe and i wanted to show you guys these very very simple wrap skirts and you might be like oh that's just a piece of fabric or it's a belt but that's my point even if you're not into that type of skirt not knocking the skirt at all because it's very cute but even if you're not into that type of skirt look at this one right here where she has basically that same thing but pleated on top of another skirt we talked about the skirt on top of skirt trend a while ago and so i think that making it into a belt is like a super easy thing and if you have a pleated skirt which i do have a couple pleated skirts i just tried to style them today for something for instagram and they don't fit anymore um uh, adding a little belt connection on the side and putting that on top of another skirt i think is a really really genius idea and then this last one is the same thing but it has like this almost like jellyfish effect on the side i saw that a, a lot in this show and like things just hanging down on one side was a big big trend um overarching not just for this uh particular show but in all of the shows so um if you are into asymmetry which i am um then yeah just play around with your silhouettes have you know like something hanging down on one side one shoulder or whatever i know i look like an 80s barbie today but try some silhouettes like that some asymmetry you know just to bring back interest and even if you are going to do like the all black um please yeah just play around with the silhouettes and um you know just bring some interest all right so next up we have y project and i wanted to show you guys this one because of the like play with the denim i love the top and this one the way the pants are i thought that that was really cool i'm interested to have to know the pattern for that to know how they do how they're going to duplicate that on mass but you know it looks like something super custom something that you know i would do and i really like it it just it looks spontaneous it that's what it looks like it looks spontaneous it looks like somebody sat down and kind of played with that silhouette until they came up with something that they were perfectly pleased with and that's i think what i really like about it and now we are to my two favorite shows but before we do that if you haven't subscribed definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you don't miss a thing we are in the middle of a series where we are recreating or upcycling our favorite pinterest wardrobe ideas and these runway ideas actually fall into that anything that you're kind of pinning for inspiration and you're like oh i really like that i want to use that as inspiration this is a way for me because i've had things pinned for years and haven't touched them this is a way for me to finally start going through that list and doing some of those things and these projects have turned out just like so good i'm so glad we started this series and we're going to continue it for fall because i love fall fall is my favorite season in the year so we're going to continue that and i want you guys to come along on this journey with me so hit that subscribe button all right so one of my favorite shows was the off-white show and i didn't realize how much i love futuristic fashion i know you guys are not surprised but um i i guess i'm a little bit surprised but i i do i do i'm a futuristic girl and these grommets all over strategically so perfectly strategically placed on these garments is sending me it is yeah i love it and i actually did feature off-white last time i love their stuff but it wasn't one of my favorite shows and actually this time this is one of my favorite shows because if you're gonna do all black do all black like that 
you know do all black like that and look at uh, just the the metal coming down right here i don't know if that's a zipper is that a half of a zipper i think that's what that was and then the grommets and this look is fine you know i love the bag but then he turns around to the back and you have so much interest you guys know already from the beginning that i love belts and again here a harness with belts this skirt i've kind of already made one like that or not with the metal but yeah it's coming so i hope you guys are excited i've made a pleated skirt is super cute i want to make it in a different pattern but yeah we're gonna do that together that's coming up but yeah i wanted to share this show because like i said if you have some patience and you just want to embellish some garment garments this is the season this one put me in the mind of um safety pins all over so i loved that and then of course this last look i have to show some love for the fact that they are showing or including plus size models so i absolutely love that and uh, yeah that that show gave me a lot of uh inspiration and like i said i don't like to hand sew i don't like to do tedious work but i'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to, after watching these shows, it's just gonna have to be done. So um, we actually, in the office, we set up the uh, projector. I have a cheap projector in the office and we set up the projector and we watched some of these shows and that was fun. So we're gonna have to just like, I don't know, in the office, put on some fashion shows or, you know, something juicy to watch and just get to some hand sewing some embellishing um and just go for what we know or just at the house you know netflix and embellish <laughs> um because yeah i'm excited and last up you guys will never guess what my favorite show is if you watched last time i did the runway review it is the same brand this was my favorite one. Look at the trench coat inspiration on this one. And the skirts, and the layers, and the straps, everything, the bags, everything was so good on this show. Like, you know that I am like about to pass out because this is so me. With the jeans, yes! And then with the jacket, with the strap, mm, and the black act, mm, yes. Yes. Then this one, that skirt, yes. Absolutely. Of course. That's me. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, they continue the thought process from last season into this season. And it just, it has my heart just as much as last time. So you guys know what happened last time. We are going to geek out on fashion together. Um, it is the Roke show. And uh, yes, I made that zipper skirt. So just one absolutely one of my favorite of cycles ever and the name of this show i think is like office necessities or something like that and it's supposed to be all office where i don't know who's office. they can come to my office like this i could come to my office like this but the interest in the back of that skirt from jump peaked my you know it peaked my interest then when i saw the front i was just like yes i love the layering i of course i love the belts you that's we don't even have to say that anymore but i love the layering and this actually didn't have a whole lot of color but it had enough things that were just making you know like piquing my interest and giving me ideas and drawing my interest i love those jeans the double jeans um those are super cute actually super easy to do um this double skirt super easy to do so yeah you guys start dropping in the comments what you want to see me do first because i think i've said a lot of things that we're going to try to do but <clears throat> this corset over the blazer i've done that before this one looks like it's incorporated into the blazer so that's kind of cool and then these pants i am envisioning that as um denim fray we've already done the pony jeans so i know it's possible it would be a ton of work 
but I already know it's possible. So that may be something we do. Um, this turn down of the pants is something I'm super interested in and have been thinking about for a while. So that's something I want to investigate more. This look is pretty much a direct, not copy, but direct inspiration or takes direct inspiration from their last season. So yeah, I, once again, you can see the pants. And what I love about Roke is all the girls always look so cool. Like they're the coolest girls ever. Um, and it just makes you want to be like them. Um, so even if that isn't your style, I just feel like it gives me a lot of inspiration and just like makes my mind go pee. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I get to talking fast and you know, stuff like that. So these are almost like armor. And of course you guys know that I love like the trench coat, like esque vibe of all of them and this last skirt of course you guys know that i've already done that skirt i'll put the link in the description box below i don't know if this is a dress or a skirt but i've done that out of a trench coat still one of my favorites um so yeah this show was absolutely amazing and yes that with the belt at the top i need i need obviously i need there's a lot to do there's not that much time before we get to another fashion week. So I hope you guys are enjoying your fashion week <laughs> because I know I just laid a whole lot of inspiration in your lap. And now I am going to share with you my collection. It's not a full collection. This is a pre-fall collection, but it is timed perfectly for fashion week and i want to share with you guys what we've been up to in the office we've been doing a ton of thrifting if you guys haven't been following our saga um all of us are thrifting addicts now you guys know that i've all uh, been a thrifting addict for a while um but yeah the girls have caught the bug and if you didn't know i have a team i hired some girls in my office to be seamstresses they have turned into so much more than that so so much more than that i'm incredibly blessed incredibly blessed um to have found them so we have been sewing and designing and just um, also thrifting and eating up a storm. So we try to share our journey on here, but the collection is our pre-fall 2023 collection and we dropped more of the jogger slacks because those sold out super fast and people were asking for different ones in different sizes. So if you were interested in those and didn't get a chance to pick up any in the first drop, we do have more. We have them in five different colors, all in sizes, all the way from medium to 3XL. So yes, I wanted to make sure we scoured looking for um, joggers that were different sizes. So I, you guys know that is, I, mm, Yes, <laughs> these are super unisex. So they're both for men and women. So definitely check those out. This time we model, when we model, we just did in-house. And like I said, I am super blessed to have people that not only can sew and they can design, but they can also model. So they did an amazing job. We also dropped our um, Alien Earth Day t-shirts. It says, your planet is worth saving. So maybe that's the only reason the aliens came here just to, you know, give us a little hint like, hey, watch that planet, you know, take care of it. Um, it's worth saving. So we have these in both t-shirts as well as sweatshirts for the fall. And then we also are transitioning into our next collection, which is going to be more of university like vibes. And so we have our blueprint signature um, t-shirt that's blueprint university. And I absolutely love that. And last but not least, we finally dropped the, the, matrix backpack and um a couple years ago i finally got up the courage to make this backpack that was on my mind i knew it was going to be difficult to make but i made it and in the office we made it even better because it has this white piping on it that just pops it and you guys know seasons ago i was talking about how much i loved piping and i wanted to do it so bad and i've done it in this backpack and we've done it just pristine and I'm so proud of it. Inside has pockets, it has a laptop uh, 
pocket that is made from the top of the track pants. We use the track pants pockets as well. On the front, we use the denim pockets. We have three denim pockets, two on the sides, and one in the back that fit a phone. One is even big enough. Like we use the front pocket so that you can stick a water bottle in there. Um, and the inside lining is a men's dress shirt. So it has that shirt pocket as well. So I'm super proud of these. And not only did we do that, but we also made a tote bag that is the matrix tote bag so it's that same like uh, adidas and levi kind of mix and it does have the men's dress shirt pocket in the inside and we also made a pouch so it's the matrix pouch and all of these together i'm just super excited about these super happy and just one thing is kind of like just like these fashion shows as we have as we do one thing it opens up a whole new pandora's box to another idea and today me and tiara were going back and forth back and forth like i don't know we were like spinning tops we were, going, we were talking fast we were talking real real fast and so um it's just super exciting to see everything evolve to see our skills evolve and get better and better and better so i'm super excited about it if you see something that you really want definitely check out that website because the pieces tend to go fast um and we do have some pieces left over from the first collection cropped blazers and the garden blouses so yeah definitely let me know which show is your favorite what you're most excited to see me upcycle and that that'll let me know what to do you guys know i follow you guys lead please don't say all because we know i'm not going to get to all of them I, there's not enough time so if you have something that you really want to see please let me know so that i can gauge what to do <laughs> y'all make it so hard on me <laughs> so hard on me and if you really enjoyed this video i have other runway reviews i will link them they're all in a playlist right here just get your life get your fashion life watch all the inspiration you want back to back to back and then come back and let's do some upcycles all right i'll see you in the next one